Once upon a time, there lived a benevolent queen. She was as kind as she was beautiful, and she ruled with compassion and wisdom. Her kingdom was one of the finest in all of Tail World, consisting of many realms called Book Worlds. The queen's heart was so full of love for her subjects that a heart became part of her coat of arms. Her loyal soldiers wore the heart proudly on their armors and flags. Thus, she came to be known as the Queen of Hearts. But one day, everything changed. The queen shut herself in the castle and closed the gates. No one saw her for days, and no one knew why she had disappeared. The people still believed in her and hoped for the best. But soon, whispers of a mysterious new advisor began to spread through the kingdom. He was the only one allowed to visit the queen. All the people could do was hope that their beloved queen was well and that she knew what she was doing. My dear Alice, I need your help. Your father spoke out against the Queen's injustice and was captured. He has been sentenced to execution. You must enter the castle and find him. I've gathered a group of people who want to help. We'll try to force our way through, but our chances at success are slim. The Queen has sealed off all of the book portals with a spell. but you can still use your powers to travel through mirrors. I sent Gears through a book portal just before they were closed. I hope he reaches you. I know that castle. It's the Queen's castle. You can't miss it. You should head there now. I'll rush ahead to look for Belle. I'll let her know you're here, and then you two can find Pierre! I can get to the castle from outside. Close one. Thanks for rescuing me, my lady. 
I mal, by the way. Those card soldiers are crazy. They came after me for no reason. Something's very wrong with the Queen, but no one knows what. Go, my lady, before the fire takes us both. <laughs> in the mirror? Then you are the one, the special traveler, the child of the rebel leader. Even with the book portals closed, you can still travel between worlds. Now, you must listen carefully. What I'm about to tell you is very important. Young was the night when I took my tongs, a hammer hidden among the prongs. Inside my furnace, a dancing fire, a horseshoe I plucked from the blazing pyre. I struck the iron once or twice, then cooled it in water as cold as ice. But as I shod my horse in his new shoe, they came out of the blue. Fearing theft, a sharp dagger I took. As I opened the door, my hand shook. I was surprised to see the armor they wore. Guarding a grand carriage was their chore. Something was inside I had to see, so I swiftly took refuge behind a tree. Soon the card knight turned his head, and I snuck to a nearby bush instead. Moving branches, one, two, three, what glorious quill did I happen to see? The heart of all inspiration it was, for my world, and your world alike, I suppose. As I tried to reach it, still in such awe, a knight found me, shouting in the name of the law. Quickly I retreated, dodging his spear, and hid in the town, still trembling with fear. Why would they need to guard an ordinary quill? Patience. You must find the counterpart to the Queen's castle in the real world. 
Contact me when you get to the observation room.